Hey, my name's Unlike Lethal, this is Inspector Waffles! Got me some food, they had a nice beef and cheese bowl. Something of my own creation, I take. I filled a bowl of cheese, or sorry, I filled a bowl of leftover ground hamburger. Already cooked, that's what I mean by leftover. I uh, put some pizza sauce on it. I guess you can use spaghetti sauce or something. I use pizza sauce because it's handy for me. Just that. It's in the fridge for me, so I put on my pizza. But I did that and I put cheese on it. The layer of cheese on it. Think of it like a uh, bowl is on you. <laughs> in a way. Sometimes I layer it. Sometimes I don't. But I'll have at least... Like fill it maybe a quarter of the way halfway before doing that and then do another layer on top of that. It's really good. I would do that before, but I would just put the cheese on it. But it was it was missing something and it was too dry. So I added pizza sauce to it. Worked. It worked. <clears throat> what can I say? I, I like to use Italian style. You use whatever you want, but whatever your favorite cheese is. Anyway, we have to get her an almond croissant and a cinnamon coffee. How do you people drink coffee? It's gross. Grossy gross. 100% gross. Ah, uh, mortician voice. Waffles, how you doing, pal? Been on over, but apart from that, I'm fine. Still sleeping here? Yes. Don't tell anyone. I think everybody already knows, Waffles. Are you busy? I'd like to talk to you about Fluffy's trip to the box. Off away. Please don't start my day with bad puns. Oh, you're the first one who gets it, finally. Because Fluffy owned box furniture. Hee hee ha uh ha. -huh. Or maybe their brains were just... Empty boxes. <laughs> well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna put you in the morty. Mort he's called Morty because he's a mortician. I'm gonna put you in the morgue, buddy. Shut up. Yeah. So what about about Fluffy's death? Let's go to the morgue. Yeah, once I can't think of voices, we're just reading my radio voice. Sorry. <laughs> Pixelated paws. Is that Fluffy? Yes, yeah, sorry, I didn't have time to put him in. Double X! I'm gonna backhand you. Are you done? Come on, that was a good one. They see artists are never appreciated in their time. Yes, I'm sure. So can you tell me anything about the killer? Yes, I have come to the conclusion that our killer is very strong. No, no cat could throw someone this heavy through a window. So you're confirming my suspicion that Fluffy was murdered, right? Do you see the bruises on his wrists? Yes, I'm guessing someone held him down with such force that Fluffy couldn't defend himself. Exactly. Fluffy wasn't young, but he was a big cat. Hard to move. And he was tossed out like a trash bag. Impressive strength, really. So if not a cat, then it must be a dog, right? Possibly. Very big dog. Or, or what? There was a deep wound on his left arm. Hypothetically, a dog could have caused that, but... That if he was attacked by a wolf. Nah, German don't work. A wolf. Morty, come on. You know wolves disappeared centuries ago. I know, I know, but... I've never seen a dog cause a wound like that. I have no better explanation right now. 
I guess now I also have to prove wolves don't still still don't exist. Thanks for the help, Morty. Have you see Rick? Tell him to fuck off. No, I will never do do. I fucked that up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Morty, 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 Morty. I, I, I need your help, Morty. Well, 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 I'm out of it, Morty. I, 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 I need you to help me quit drinking, Morty. <laughs> no problem, officer. I wouldn't dismiss, dismiss, dismiss wolves just yet. Anything's possible, you know. Sometimes you need to think outside of the box. That's it. Where's your scalp? I'm stabbing your eye out. Didn't see that coming, did you? Did you see this knife coming? Bastard. So long, Morty. Are you waiting for a new victim? Yes, unfortunately. Unfortunately, a cat threw himself off a building. Ah, another nine lifer, I take it. That's what he wrote in a suicide note, at least. Seems like there are more and more of these nine lifers turning up. You can't swing a dead cat in cat tone without hitting one. I don't know if I like your humor. Oops, sorry. No, I, I read the wrong one before. I thought it was still awful. Shit. I don't know if I like your humor or find it disturbing, Morty. Oh, that's really nice of you, Inspector. So, nine lifer. I don't know if there's a three life equivalent that happened. Basically, because cats have nine lives. Essentially, uh, as I understand it, they were giving up that life and going on to their next life. <laughs> Nine lives. <laughs> Nine lives. It's a cat joke. A little morbid, but yes. Can I look at the sink? No. Well, fuck you. Poor Fluffy. He probably didn't expect to die like that. I don't think anybody expects to die when they do. Kitty claws. Poor cat. Something missing was like a tag on the toe. Okay, ID tag. This coffee machine makes the worst coffee I've ever tasted. It's like somebody's trying to poison us. I won't have another drop of any liquid this machine spits out. But I'll take a cup with me. You never know, it could help with an interrogation. I was cleaning my car's windshield. <laughs> now I should have uh, hell that. It. I was gonna say I'm not gonna do the extra dialogue here, no, but that's good. Blardy, blardy, we already read this. Blardy, blardy. I have a cup of coffee, Mocha. Do you want it? Waffles? Is that for my coffee machine? Maybe. Why? I asked for a tasty breakfast, not food poisoning. What were you thinking, Waffles? I know everyone else hates it, but I figured you could be the exception. Find some coffee that doesn't taste like death, please. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Circle does the same fucking thing. I'm missing something. Yeah, you are. Worth the shot. <laughs> no one is behind bars right now. You know what I miss the most about my city? Smoked sockeye salmon from Foxy Burger. Mmm, <laughs> that sounds good. It's the best place in the world. Imagine the taste, the flavor. I miss my home. Meh, I don't like fish. No, no, let me give him a more joyful without the voice. Why, how's that possible? It smells really bad, like cheese. What about other seafood? It all stinks. Oh, okay then. 
dogs. What do you like to eat? I like hot dogs. Hey, <laughs> good one, Spotty. I didn't know you were so funny. But I really like hot dogs. Why is that funny? Because you are a dog? A lot of dogs like hot dogs. Sausages are good. Yes, they are. I like kibasi, and my favorite is spicy Italian. Double entendre. No, I... <laughs> I mean the sausage. I don't mean that sausage, I mean the food. <clears throat> but aren't you... Yeah, okay, yes. But I'm talking about the food here. <laughs> I could revel in this awkward conversation for a very long time. But I need Spotty. He could help me with the case. If he doesn't drive me crazy first. You don't bother to have any walking animations, could you? Whatever. Uh, excuse me. Oh, yeah. Blah. Get some water. That was from Interactable Buddy. That's from a Newgrounds game. When you have him dressed up as the Strawberry Clock. It's a Newgrounds thing. <laughs> and you set him on fire. You also have Napoleon Dynamite. And a lot of other skins. But Napoleon Dynamite and the Strawberry Clock are the only ones I'm aware of that have a voice. Anyway. Hey, Spotty, how are you? Hello, Inspector Waffles. I'm fine. Not much to do right now. He's a beagle, as far as I can tell. As far as I can tell, bleh. Let me issue... It, fuck. Let me introduce you to Howard. He's a detective from... Let's say from far away. Nice to meet you, Inspector Waffles. I've already heard good things about you. Nice to meet you too, Detective. You get that deep voice. Years and years of drinking and depression. Bill's character. Spotty, I need a paw. I heard you're a pretty good talented sniffer. Maybe you can help me out. A job for me? Of course I can help. <laughs> um. Okay. Wow. Thank you. And uh, please calm down. Get it, because he's a dog. <laughs> I have here a letter written by someone named Irwin. Can you find where he lives? Oh gosh, let me take a sniff. Yeah, Smells like fish. Terrible. Can I help? I got a good nose, too. Sure, why not? I'm on the merrier. There are distinct tints of tomato sauce and grilled codfish. I got that too! I'm picking it up in this direction! <laughs> this is gonna be... Well, it's gonna be a day, Howard. Appreciate the help. Very well, I'm Inspector. Great seeing you. I'll be leaving today. No know if we'll meet again. Look at him go. Look at the woofer. Look at the woofer. I'm more of a cat person, but hey, you know, I'm not going to avoid petting a dog. It's just if I have a dog and a cat in front of me, I'm going right for the cat first. <laughs> I mean, y'all don't believe me. Almost every day, every time I saw the dog, Buster, I have a pet him. Some days I spend more time with them than others, I don't know. I don't have to press on spots. Anyway, enjoy your time in Cat Town. I'll do my best. 
spotting what's move. Please try to contain your excitement a bit. I'll try, I promise. I'm just very happy to go on an adventure with you. Oh. <laughs> okay. Follow me. Who saw that coming? <laughs> Straight ahead! Spotty, we've already gone this way. The red line, calm as you are. This is also a Flintstones reference. As you can tell, it, it uh, repeats ad nauseum. <laughs> That is driven in circles. Spotty, we already gone this way. I know, I'm sorry, Inspector. There's a fish shop around the corner and the smells are blending into each other. My nose is confused. Still can't believe I put my trust in your sense of smell. Do you also do divinations? No, sorry, but I have an otter who uses bones to look into the future. Pretty sure that's divination. There's some sort of like that, I don't know. Bone reading. I don't believe in that shit. Just to be fair, they're only seeing one possible future. <laughs> I, I'm not quite sure if I believe in fate. I feel like my boyfriend and I were fated to meet. It, everything just that. Hang on. Everything just added up far too smoothly. I don't know. If you're interested, we should... We, blah, blah. If you're interested, you should call her. If she can see the future, she already knows I won't. <laughs> There's only one possible future. Uh, who knows how many? Like, for example, we could get into a car accident. Or we won't. Thirty minutes later. Spotty, you see that barber shop across the street? Calm as you are. Yeah, why? Are you a regular there? No, never been inside. Even in spite of my deep love for puns. But my point is, this is the fifth time we've driven past it, Spotty. In other words, we're going round in circles. About the same thing. Weird, right? Or maybe, just maybe, you have no idea where we're going. Of course I know. Just give me some time. Here we are. Told you I'd find the place. Yeah, great work. It only took an hour. It's not that bad. And look there, I could see the police station. Only two blocks away. Oh, God. Oh, neat! You think they could see us? I... That's not my point, Smarty. Alrighty, let's start inspectoring. That's not a word, Smarty. Not even close, either. How do you say it when you're looking for clues and interrogating witnesses? Investigating. Oh, right. So let's start investigating. If you need me to sniff anything... Blah, blah, blah. If you need me to sniff something, just ask. I will. I'm sure you'll have your part to play. I like this. Tiger print chair. Who would buy this and put it in their home? Maybe cats who want to feel a bit more primal? I guess if being primal also means being gaudy, sure. I don't know what gaudy means. Let me look that up. I need to know. I want to know what love is. This is like tacky. Bright, extravagantly bright or showy. Typical, typically so as to be tasteless. Ah, so tacky. Overbright's a word. 
excessively bright. Mm. Well, gaudy or gaudy is a term used to reflect student life in a number of the ancient universities in the United Kingdom as well as other institutions such as Durham University and Reading University. What? They have a writing over there too. Interesting. We got one here as well. Not a university, but a town. Yeah, more like a city, maybe. I don't know. We've been there a few times. Shopping, usually. I can't remember the last time. It's quite a drive. <laughs> That the only trash can I can interact with? I'm not sure what that... <clears throat> In here, luxury means owning expensive bones from extinct animals. Wow, it's my dream come... To, uh, blah. It's my dream to have one of these bones someday. But you don't seem to care much for them. For me, luxury is an expensive aged straw milk or a nice bluefin tuna. Oh, tuna. It could be a, it could be a tuna. It could be a tumor. It's not a tumor. <laughs> it's not a tumor. Oh, tuna. Mm. That's my dad's current addiction. I use that jokingly, because before it was pork chops. Not necessarily addiction, just something that we eat constantly. Before it was pork chops. Now it's tuna. All the time, tuna sandwich. <laughs> of course, I don't have room to talk. I have sandwiches and pizza every day if, if there's leftovers and it's something I like I'll eat that instead but I can only cook so many things and with my diet I'm kind of limited I don't know starving that's for sure wish the treadmill wasn't broke I need to work it out I might have to sacrifice it to lift weights can't really because my right le uh, left arm because I fucked up my elbow it started to hurt really bad and I get uh, tendonitis from it but right now it's the only thing I can really do because walking up and down that driveway I hurt my foot <laughs> it feels better a lot better now Man, I would take not being able to use my arm over not being able to use my leg. Because <laughs> with the arm, I can still use my other arm. But the leg, I can't walk with one leg. And the leg that I hurt was already the bad, a bad leg anyway, my ankle. So I hit the foot on that leg. Yeah, it was awful. Anyway, tuna. I love tuna. Tuna's good. A nice tuna noodle casserole or a tuna sandwich. Mm. Fucking smells like cat food, though. <laughs> I won't deny that. I'm pretty sure the dog in the stand there's a dachshund. I can't see his full body, but I'm pretty sure he's one of them wiener dogs. Like chorizo! They're built that way, because they're hunting dogs. They can get under the brush when they're after rabbits. 
A lot better than a taller dog could. I mean, I'm going after the fur color and I'm going after the fur color and ear shape and tail shape. That's basically all I can do with it's pixelated. So I'm pretty sure he's a beagle and I'm pretty sure he's a boxer. And I'm wrong, well not much I can do to identify. I'm not a dog expert. Anywho Tuna! Cats are weird! <laughs> I like the human... Hmm, there's a leaky tap over there. Maybe the tenant had to leave his apartment quickly. I was distracted and forgot to turn off the tap. Who knows? It's a mystery for another day. Why do I even get to investigate that anyway? That's weird. Uh, I mean, like, click on it. That's... whatever. Boop, 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 boop. I wish I could... let's play that. Uh, hey, and his name is Frank. Frank Furter. Do I go in the building? Do I go to talk to Frank? I know in the antiques. I like antiques. Uh, let's go in the antique shop. Now I want to point out I know exactly who that is. I just cannot remember his name. But I saw a comic. I forgot the fucking name. Darkwing Duck and uh, Blue from Tailspin were pissed at him for stealing their, his vest and hat, respectively. <laughs> That's all I would remember. I can't fucking remember his name. The antique shop also has plushies. Spotty, what's that character behind the cat? The cube guy? Make, making a plushie out of this character, what an edgy idea. Imagine if Morty would be proud of me if I heard that. Why? Because of the edgy pun, Spotty. Which pun? I hope nothing ever changes you. There's comfort in your predictability. Thank you, Inspector. Oh, talking about that? I thought they were talking about this. Oh, oh! Oh, they're talking about that. <laughs> I can't even tell it's a mesh of pixels for me. I thought they were referring to the alligator here. I can't remember his name, but I know what it is. That's an axolotl. That's a unicorn. Dash cat. <laughs> I'm not stupid. Yeah, it's a pizza, <laughs> pizza clock. Oh. Weird stuffs. A unicorn head, a mug, a stone statue, a pizza clock. Pyramid with an eye. That? Not for certain, but that might be... Oh god, I forgot his name from, uh... And I forgot the name of the cartoon. No, that's the name of the carry. Okay, show me what the fuck is it called. Oh god, I forgot. <laughs> I don't want to say Dipper Pines. I, I can't remember the name of the show he's about. Cypher! That might be Bill Cypher, but I can't remember the name of the... <laughs> I can't remember the name 
remember the name of the show for sound. I can't remember the name of the show. Of the show. I haven't watched it ever. Anyway, that might be from it. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Or it just could be the Illuminati. I don't know. And what's that? A porcupine? A cat? Both? Yes. Incredible! This is the weirdest stuff you can find in any antique shop in town. Really? An eclectic collection of paintings, drawings, and posters. A medieval procession. A chain in front of the mountains. An axe lot of smoking, a pipe. An escaping ape. A nutty bomb cat. I'm curious about the stories we have behind these pictures. Axolotls are awesome. They're so cute. If you ever played Pokemon, I don't know why, but I'm suddenly liking Wooper a hell of a lot more. <laughs> I think it's because I realized he and Qua Quagsire were axolotls, or at least Wooper is. Or... Quagsire is some sort of salamander. Quagsire! Oh my god, I can't wait for my Palladian Wooper pop brain fart to evolve. I have to get back in the game, though, damn it. Actually? Spotty, do you smell anything special? No, sorry. Okay. I mean, a cat sense of smell isn't anywhere near a dog's, but it's better than a human's. A lot of animals generally rely on their other senses. Hi there, sir. I'm Inspector Waffles, and this is Spotty. Hello? Can you hear me? I don't think he can hear you, Inspector. Yeah, thanks for the heads up, Spotty. You're welcome, Inspector. I don't know how to... How are we going to get him back to normal? I don't know. I don't know, actually. I don't think I ever found anything that would work on that, but I have an idea. But then again, I don't know how to get that item from there, anyway. Fuck, I don't think I'm gonna go after the collectibles, anyway. I don't know where they all are, and I don't want to take time to look for them all. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe another time. But I have yet to figure this out anyway, so... It's not important to the story anyway. Margaret, I think, is a Dalmatian. I think... I'm seeing the spots. Ow! Ow! Thumb! Ah. Throat feels better now. Just kidding. <laughs> That's not how I sound. Hi there, miss. I'm Inspector Waffles. This is my part of Spotty. Hello, ma'am. Hmm. Are you two here to buy something? No, unfortunately, I'm here as part of an investigation. I've done nothing wrong in my entire life. Why come in here and disturb me? 
think he's gonna I think she's gonna be a tough nut to crack, Inspector. I think I agree. Erwin, Erwin, Erwin. You know a cat named Erwin? No. He lives just across the street. Maybe he's been in your shop at some point? I don't know, Evan. I've never seen him. Next question, please. I have a shot to manage. Ew, penis. You have a lot of painting statues and plushies. Yes, I do. They are all very valuable to me. Look at that tail, though. It <laughs> hers. She's clearly enjoying that book. I think it's supposed to be going left to right, but it's kind of... Kind of hard to depict that in a 2D plane. Especially pixel. Weighted like this. Anyway. All these artists spent so much time making these masterpieces. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I think I could recreate that. Give me a camera. <laughs> and a cat, if I could do it. They should be compensated according to their value. So, if you want something, we need to agree on a fair price. Fortunately, I'm not here to... We're not here to buy something. So get straight to the point, Spectre. I have customers to help. Yes, you certainly have a lot of customers. What about your customers? What's up with the dog in the red suit? I don't know, actually. He grabbed the fishing rod, played with it a little, and... Suddenly he was hypnotized. You haven't tried helping him? Why should I? My only concern is if he's gonna buy it. Aren't you a dick? It's a high quality piece made of wood from a tree that's now extinct. By a 5th century artisan from an ancient eastern tribe. An impressive relic, to say the least. It'd be such a shame to miss out on the opportunity to buy it. Oh, we should get it! Spotty, you hate fish. Why would you want a fishing rod? Because I don't have a fishing rod. For your own sake, Spotty, I'd encourage you to shield your eyes from commercials. We'll pass on the rod, but thanks. Badness and booming. <laughs> booming. That's quite a nice looking coffee machine you got there in the counter. I'm a coffee a I'm a coffee addict. I like to enjoy a cup of cinnamon coffee while I'm working. That sounds delightful. I love cinnamon and coffee. It'd be nice of you to share a cup with me. I think I'd take a wake up. Please. Inspector, nothing is free here. You can use the coffee machine. If you give me something I can sell here. Business is business. Hmm. Would you like a love letter? I got just a thing. A love letter. Very well read. This is poetry. You understand you're in an antique shop, right? Antique means old, not made two days ago. But the text is unique, very well written indeed. If you had a letter like this one, but antique, it'd be perfect. Maybe something in my inventory could alter this letter to make it older. Why, we have just the thing. I'll ask later. I've seen on TV that you can make documents look older with coffee stains. There's so many stupid things on TV, but I guess it's worth a try. Not that I have a better idea anyway. Okay, I am being half of my coffee down the line it looks older. But that's completely wet. You need to find a way to try it. Sweetly! I didn't catch his... Oh, God. Somebody texted me. I didn't even see it. Shit. Shitty shit. Anyway. Anywho.
Oh, in the ancient times, oh, that's right. In the ancient times, dogs peed on objects to mark the territory. Now that we're all become more civilized, they don't do it anymore. At least when someone is around. That's why trees don't like live very long in two other neighborhoods. They get drowned in not water. But since fire hydrants are mandatory, they become the new victims of the secret canine tradition. Get it? Because dogs like to piss on things. Swear to God, one night when I took Buster for a walk, he pissed like five times. <laughs> Ugh. I don't get that obsession with having to mark things. Whatever. There's more than one dog in this neighborhood. I'm sure another dog has pissed on those that he already pissed on anyway. Whatever. I love this piss. Making me think of Borderlands 3. My ex friend Rath gave me a <laughs> grenade. The flavor text was HP! It's literally urine. <laughs> it's a urine grenade. And every time I throw it, I say HP! Because it was funny. Made me feel like Team Fortress too, you know, the Jarati. Anyway, let's talk to Frank. Frank Enfurter. Oh, Frank Enfurter. Frank Furter, Wiener, Hot Dog. Same thing. Schnitzel! The Wiener Schnitzel. Burks. I, I love the Nathan's with Burks. Oh my god. They're so good. I like Deets and. I like a lot of different brands of hot dogs. They all taste different, oddly enough. Some people don't like hot dogs, or whatever. It's because some people are always like, you know what's in a hot dog? And like, but I always think, why are you bothering with what's in it? Shouldn't you be concerned with what's encased in? <laughs> Not doing hot dogs for anybody, but it's pig intestine. Doesn't bother me. <laughs> I could care. I could give two shits what's in a hot dog. I don't care. Tastes good to me. I'm gonna eat it. I don't care. Anywho, I have a minute and a half yet left. I don't know if we're gonna have enough time to get through this conversation. Great. One thing about that dogs and cats have in common. We love watching TV. Sports, cooking, docudramas, reality TV, whatever else we all consume and all. Whatever else we all consume and all. Spotty, out of curiosity, what are you watching on TV these days? I've been enjoying Dog Ship. The cooking show. Well, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not surprised at all. The cooking show. Le bon. I think that's a pun of Top Chef. I don't know if that has anything to do with that. Uh... Oh god, what's his name? Gordon Ramsay? But... <laughs> yeah. I do often wonder what he would think of my pizza. <laughs> Probably something like, What the fuck are you doing, you stupid wanker? It's not how you make a pizza! Or given he's British, probably. You stupid yank! (laughs) 
I don't know. I always thought I made it good. People tell me it's good. He makes a burger that looks so fucking good, but it's too fucking thick, in my opinion. <laughs> it, it looks good, but it's too fucking thick. But whatever. Anyway, well, well let me save, actually. Hey, this is taking longer than I was expecting. I never even go by quick. <laughs> whatever. Till the next episode, I'm Zombie Weasel. Stay on me, I'm out.